Ultimately, the question life asks of us is, what have you done for others? Look at successful people, the one thing they have in common is they're always looking for ways to give back. I feel like I've been so blessed and had so many great experiences and been able to do so many things in my life that I, I dreamed about. The idea for this really came from just being able to, to see what basketball has done for me and the places that it's taken me, the life that I've been able to live, the experiences that I've been able to have. And looking back at where I started in high school here at Caesar Rodney in Delaware, which they don't get exposed to a lot of the things that other big city kids get exposed to. They don't have the opportunities to meet NBA players every day. That's not a part of their lifestyle. So when I started thinking about a place to have a camp, you know, I said I could easily have one in Maryland and 15 minutes from where I went to college and people know me. Um, but the opportunity to do one here in Delaware where the kids might not get this opportunity is often, it kind of appealed to me. It kind of made me feel like, you know what, I can give back to the community by going back where it started for me and giving these kids the opportunity to see something they might not otherwise see. It's a basketball camp by a guy who's been here, who's, who's been a part of this community, who's played here, but also has played in the NBA and played in college and now coaches in the NBA. So that was why the idea really seemed to be um, more appealing to me to bring it back here. Ultimately, the question life asks of us is, what have you done for others? You know, I think Martin Luther King lived the life that exemplified that. I think a lot of great people, when you look at successful people, the one thing they have in common is they're always looking for ways to give back. And I've always found myself trying to find ways to give back. I feel like I've been so blessed and had so many great experiences and been able to do so many things in my life that I, I dreamed about. That, you know, my question as I get older is, how can I give this opportunity to others? How can I impact others? and give them the same satisfaction and sense of fulfillment that I have from being able to travel the world and meet people and do things that I've always dreamed about. So being able to impact these kids, being able to give them the idea that their dreams are a lot closer than they think. And more importantly, that they can do anything that they put their minds to, that it is possible. I think that's kind of what drives me and that's kind of where my passion is. I think I want to ultimately have an organization that teaches kids, encourages kids to follow their dreams, to chase their dreams, but also give them strategies and implements organization into how you want to do it and how you want to make it a reality. This was a place where a lot of people told me that I was not being realistic. You're at a crossroads. You can either say, you know what, these people are right, and I can't do it, or I can say these people are right, and I can do it, but ultimately the decision to follow your dream, to chase your dream, it lies in you. And I had to make that decision at 15, at 16, whether or not I was gonna believe in myself. So when I come back here, it's just a reminder of what I can accomplish when I believe in myself. Because to think that I would be where I'm at now back then, people would be like, there's no way. But I think it's just a reminder to me that if I actually put my mind to it and I believe in myself, impossible is nothing.